Hi kids, I'm Mr. Gruner. How can I help you? Hi Mr. Gruner, we're the Treehouse Detectives and we're trying to design a Martian habitat. We realize that we have to grow our own food on Mars. Yeah, because we don't want to go hungry and we need to know if plants grow differently in space than they do here on Earth. Well, sort of. But plants still need the basics like light, air, water, nutrients, and a nice temperature and humidity. You know that Mars is extremely cold. And that it doesn't have the same atmosphere as Earth. Does that mean that we can't grow anything on Mars? No, it just means you'd have to grow them indoors in a controlled environment. How do you do that? Well, here at NASA we design plant growth chambers or systems to meet the plant's basic needs. Kind of like this one here. Do you have to use special seeds to make the plants grow in space? No, we use the same seeds as we do here on Earth. However, we do conduct experiments and collect data to see what effect low gravity and increased radiation has on the way plants produce seeds. Why is that important? We want to make sure that plants can reproduce in space. This will help astronauts who live there for a long time. Can the seeds produced on Mars grow here on Earth? Yes, and they're able to germinate and grow in the new plants just fine. Do you only use plants in space for food? No, we also hope to use plants to produce oxygen and water. That is so cool! During a process called photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. We breathe oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Exactly! So you see, plants and people can live very well together, trading gases. Okay, I understand that, but how do they produce water? through a process called transpiration. What's transpiration? Well, when a plant transpires, it releases water through tiny holes called pores that are mostly found in the leaves. And then the water evaporates into the atmosphere and we can collect it and turn it back into liquid water on a cold surface. Oh, you mean just like the water droplets on the outside of my glass of ice water. That's right, it's called condensation. I guess it is important to be able to produce water and oxygen since it takes a long time to get to Mars. You bet it is. It would be very expensive to send space vehicles to resupply the habitat. Therefore, it is very important for the habitat to be as self-sufficient as possible. What kind of plants are you growing in your lab? We are currently experimenting with grains like wheat and rice, legumes like peas and peanuts, potatoes, fruits, and salad crops. I love salad. That's good, because right now there are no plants to produce any meat. I don't like just vegetables. Well, don't get too discouraged. Meat will still be available in packaged form, but in small quantities. However, there are still lots of good foods you can make with fruits and vegetables. Like what? Well, like peanut butter from peanuts, jelly from strawberries, tortillas from wheat, and potato chips from potatoes. You could even make tomato sauce from tomatoes for pizza or spaghetti. Now you're talking. That's my kind of meal. And just like here on Earth, the most important thing is to eat a balanced and nutritious diet. That's true. My mom always tells me that. Would you like to see us harvest some carrots from our chambers? Yes. All right. Thanks, Mr. Good luck with your project, kids.